Here are the basics for how to stream and record at two different resolutions with OBS. So the first thing you're going to do, file, settings, and we're going to go to the video tab. Now, ideally, I like to make sure my base canvas resolution is set to whatever the primary monitor display resolution that I'm going to be capturing. I want it to match that because I want to rescale as few times as possible because the more you rescale something, the more quality loss you're going to get. So I'm running at 1440p. I'm going to change the base canvas to 1440p. Now output scaled. I'm also going to change that to 1440p. If you're 1080p, go ahead and do 1080p in both places, just whichever. I just leave it at by qubit. I like to run 60 FPS as I imagine most people do. Apply. Now you may say, wait a minute, I can't stream at that. Well, we're getting there. So this will cover your recording resolution. Next, we're going to go to the output tab. Now you can do this in simple mode, but I always, if you're missing options that you're looking for, make sure you change this to advanced. If you want to play with some other things later on, we're not going to cover that in this video. So for here, this is our stream settings. Now, depending on if you have an Nvidia card or you know whatever you have, you'll have this already set. But what we're going to do is we're going to, the main thing we're going to need to rescale output. And this is the only place we're going to want to rescale. So what you will do here is you will set this to whatever your stream resolution is going to be. If you are playing, capturing at 1440p, you want your recordings to be 1440p, you want to stream at 1080p with an, an output and rescale output, you will rescale it here. We're not going to rescale it anywhere else because there's no sense in making extra work on that. I always uncheck like a visual tuning just for future reference. If you're on Twitch, be sure to set your keyframe interval to two and then whatever bit rate you can handle. Remember, Twitch has a soft cap of 6,000, a hard cap of 8,000, but whenever you're streaming, there are times that there can be fluctuations that go over that cap. Some Twitch ingests can handle, they'll let you get up to 8,500 bit rate maybe, but it seems really inconsistent depending on what server you get whenever you go live. So you could have issues with drop frames, your stream freezing up for certain people. So I, I like to keep this around 7,800 tops. I don't really like to go over that just to kind of account for that. The next we're going to apply, I'm going to go to recording. Now recording, this is where we're going to change. We don't want it to use the stream encoder because then if you have it use the stream encoder, we're going to get the rescale as well. We don't want that. We want it to do its own thing. If you want to record it directly to MP4, you can do that here. We're going to set our own encoder if you have nvidia card you're probably going to be better off to just use the nvidia nv ink new and this remember you're not going to rescale this because we're only going to scale it one time and we've already done that for the stream we're going to let it record when you don't set this it's going to record at whatever your native canvas and video resolution you set here we don't need to set any of that and you'll just go down here and typically i just leave it at cbr but you can play with that, whatever your, your typical recording things are. This how to kind of assumes you're pretty familiar with recording settings that it is. I'm just showing you how to do two separate things at once. Just to give you an idea of what I do for YouTube, I record at 18,000 bitrate and uh, 1440p on the resolution. Set that. If you're not gaming, you can set this to max quality, but in most cases, this is going to be fine quality because max quality makes it do an extra pass and that can actually hit your resources pretty heavily depending on what you're doing. Again, I don't like running psycho visual tuning. I think it does some weird distortion effects in my experience. I just leave it set to that and then apply and we're done. Now as a side note for this bit right here, if you're having issues and it won't let you set over that and connect your account, I'm using a dummy here, so I don't have that right now. You can click this button, ignore streaming service recommendations. Yes. And then that is what will let you set a higher bit rate and actually use that higher bit rate. If you leave that checked, it's just going to send at 6,000. I hope this has been helpful to you. If you have any questions, just let me know in the comments below. I do stream on Twitch and YouTube in different, I've got another YouTube channel that I stream on and a Twitch channel, of course, and feel free to just hop in sometime if you want. I stream pretty much every day.